in the land of Australia, where koalas climb high in eucalyptus trees, and kangaroos bound across grassy plains on great big feet, a baby bird pecked his way out of his shell. His mother called him Kajara, and she brought him good fruit to eat. Every day for dessert, she brought him bugs. His feathers were brown and green, just like his mother's. Both Kajara and his mother had pale blue eyes. Every day, Kajaro ate fruit and bugs to help him grow bigger, and every day he flapped his wings hard to help him grow strong. Every night, his mother told him stories about his father. He was handsome with satiny blue feathers, she told him. He was graceful with a beautiful dance. He was charming with a lovely voice, and he built the most beautiful bower in the world. What's a bower? asked Kajaro. For all he knew of the world was their nest, high in a tree surrounded by green leaves and the slivers of blue far above them that his mother said was sky. A bower is a special nest built upon the ground, his mother told him. With his feet, your father smoothed the ground to make a dancing floor. With his beak, he placed each twig just so to make an archway. He chewed leaves and berries to make paint, then dipped a piece of bark into it and painted the archway walls. He flew far and wide to find the prettiest feathers, flowers, and shells to decorate the bower with and all of them were the most beautiful blue. Like the sky? Kajaro asked. Like the sky, his mother agreed. When I came to the bower, your father danced and sang for me, and then I joined him on the dancing floor. Someday, Kajaro, you will build a bower for your lady love. Then his mother covered him with her wing, for it was time to sleep. Kajaro closed his eyes, wondering what kind of bower he would build when he was grown. When Kajaro was three weeks old, he flew for the very first time. Soon he could swoop and soar and zoom up and zoom down. He went high enough to see the sky, and it was huge, not just little slivers. It was stretched from one end of the world to the other, and all of it was the most beautiful blue. A few days later, he and his mother left their nest. They flew until they found a flock of other birds. All of them had brown and green feathers and pale blue eyes. Kajero spent his days playing with his new friends. They flew high in the sky, zipping and zooming and swooping and soaring. They ate fruit from trees and bushes. Sometimes for dessert, they would hunt bugs. At night, they slept on branches of trees. Around them, koalas climbed high and the eucalyptus trees, and kangaroos bounded across the grassy plains on great big feet. When Kajaro was five years old, he noticed that he had some new feathers that were dark, satiny blue. The other boys had some new feathers, too. All the girls were still green and brown. Kajaro decided he didn't want to spend his days zipping and zooming and swooping and storing. He wanted to build. Kajaro flew into the forest, searching for just the right spot. He found it, surrounded by four tall trees with a little rivulet of water not far away. With his feet, he smoothed the ground to make a dancing floor. With his beak, he placed each twig, just so, to make an archway. He chewed leaves and berries to make paint, and then he used a piece of bark to paint the archway walls. He flew far and wide to find the prettiest flowers and feathers and shells to decorate his bower with. And all of them were the most beautiful blue. Every day, he noticed that more of his own feathers were turning satiny blue. Every day, he practiced dancing and singing, making the sounds of other creatures he heard. Every day he smoothed the dancing floor and rearranged the flowers and feathers and shells. Some days he went hunting for more decorations. Kajaro found snail shells and bright leaves and beetle wings, but he liked blue parrot feathers the best. 
He took a few from a bird's bower a few flights away. The next day when he came back from his trip, every single one of his blue parrot feathers were gone. So Kajaro went searching again. In the spring, a lovely green and brown bird with pale blue eyes came to his bower. He danced and sang his best for her, but then she flew away. Kajaro was sad, but he promised himself, I'll do it better next time. All that next year, he built and rebuilt his bower, painting the archway, smoothing the dancing floor, finding and arranging his decorations of the most beautiful blue, Almost half of his own feathers were satiny blue now, and he practiced his singing and his dancing too. That spring, three birds came to his bower, and he sang and danced for each of them. Two of them left when he finished, and one of them stayed for a little while, but none of them joined him on the dance floor. Once again, Kajaro was sad, but once again, he promised himself I'll do it better next time. All that year he worked hard, trying to build the most beautiful bower in the world. When spring came again, all of his own feathers were dark, satiny blue. He gleamed in the sunshine, and his eyes were as blue as the sky. One morning, a lovely green and brown bird with pale blue eyes came to his bower. She watched as he danced and sang his best for her. Kajaro finished his song and waited, hoping she thought he was handsome and graceful and charming, hoping she would stay. She hopped over to him and said, My name is Kamira. My name is Kajaro, he told her, wondering if she would be his lady love. Kamira fluttered her wings a little and said, You have built the most beautiful bower in the world. And Kajaro was happy, for that meant he had finally done it right this time. Then he was happier still, for Kamira joined him on the dancing floor, and the two of them danced together inside the most beautiful bower in the world.